Hello, my name is Harvey from A Harvey CNC. In this video, I will be using eCarp Pro to design the snowman from Craft Supplies USA. Before we continue, there's a word of caution. Please be careful and make sure that you are using safe settings for your machine. I am no means an expert, and I had my fair share of broken bits, ruined projects, and even a nice cut on my table because I didn't properly tighten my router bit. Here are two snowmen that I created off of my fourth axis CNC using G code from VCARB. Okay, let's get started. First, open up VCARB. <clears throat> then, job type will be rotary. The job size will be 8 inches by 2.625 or 2 and 5 eighths. The inches, zero Z position will be cylinder axis. XY datum position will be in the lower left hand corner. For my example, we go going along the y-axis with a modeling resolution of very high. Click OK. Now we're going to draw a line of x0, y7, add. The angle will be 0. The circumference of our circle will be 8.2412. Add, space bar, close. Now we're going to draw the largest of the three snowballs. Click the circle. We're going to start at x of 1.25. y is 0. The diameter will be 2.5. Create. Close. Next, we're going to draw a rectangle. X is 1.25. Y is 0. The X width is 2 inches. And also, Y is 2 inches. Create. Close. Now, what we're going to do is Square like that. We're going to use the cropping tool. We're going to cut this circle part off, this arc off. We're going to trim parts of the squares. There's our first snowball. Close. We're going to basically do the same thing again. We're going to make another circle. This one will be, X will be 4. Y will be 0. The radius for this one is 2 inches. Create. Close. We're going to make another rectangle, square. X will be 4. Y is 0. The width for X will be 1 and 5 eighths, so 1 plus 5 divided by 8 equals 1.625. Y will be also 1.625. Create, close. Again, we're going to move it and crop it. Now we're going to work on the head. Get another circle. X is six. Y is 0, the diameter is 1.5, create, close, we create another rectangle, X is 6, Y is 0. I move the anchor point from the upper left to the middle, the X is 1.25, the Y is 1.25, get create, and this time the X is where it should have been on the other two, in the middle of the circle, close it, use the cropping tool, Top of the circle, bottom of the circle, one part of the square, the other part. Because these are so close, it's hard to cut. We use the magnifying tool, make it a little bit bigger. Cut, 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 cut. And before we get much further, I say we save the file 
So in case something happens or you make a mistake, you won't lose everything. So save as. Spell that. Save. Now we're gonna do two more. We gotta make a rectangle for the, the brim of the hat. X is seven. is 1 and 5 eighths. So 1 plus 5 divided by 8 equal create close and I make the, the whole hat another rectangle put this at 8 x is 8 y is 0 the width is 1 the height is 1.25 Create. Close our hat. We close. Now what we have to do is put the whole snowman together. So we're going to take one, hit the left arrow, move it over, move it over, move it over. Now you notice that they don't line up. So you go a little bit past it and then you go up. Use the magnifying tool. Go up a little bit more. There it goes. Get rid of the magnifying tool. But make sure everything is right, right. You need a guideline. Shift to appear, pull it down. You can see that there's a little bit difference in the snowballs. We do the same thing with the head. Left arrow, go a little bit past, go up. Use the magnifying tool, make sure they're close. Too high, down just a hair. Roller just a bit. Go back up. Go back out of magnification. Get the brim of the hat. Just use the same height as the first snowball. you want to go now click now what we have to do is go into node editing because this has to be an open vector in order to cut it on your fourth axis so let's go to node editing okay now we're going to have to edit and crop our snowman Take the scissors cut the inside of, the, of our snowman now he knows that was a mistake so you Undo, close this, move the square in a little bit more, trim it tool again, trim, trim, close, and we'll go to node editing, or insert a point on zero, and here on zero, now we're going to cut vector, here now the magic starts select the line put your finger on the shift key go to your tools to the molding tool path you want the waste to be on the top we're going to select we're going to use a ball nose for a quarter inch we're going to calculate we're going to click the snowman Calculate, and there's our snowman. Go back in here. You actually want the depth of cut on 
tops. We gotta check the waist so we get there. We're gonna use a quarter inch bull nose to edit it. I want it to have a eight inch, eight percent step over. That's okay. However, I'm also using a, a ball nose quarter inch for the clearance. And there I want to have 40%. So I calculate. Review all tool paths. There it goes. And there's our snowman. The hat, the brim, the three. I'm going to cut it. I always do one at a time. Save. I have a shark. Save the tool path. Save it. Close. The next one, save. Then go to your CNC and cut it out.